In California and across the U.S., the COVID-19 numbers are staggering. In Los Angeles County, population 10 million, there were fewer than 100 intensive care unit beds available on Tuesday. In some areas, like the Central Valley and counties east of Los Angeles, there are zero ICU beds left. More people will die because the whole health care system is overwhelmed. Statewide, more than 42,000 cases of COVID-19 were reported on Monday, breaking all previous single-day records. We're still in the tunnel, going through the most challenging and difficult surge we've experienced since the beginning of this pandemic. Most of the state is under a stay-at-home order. Still, public officials pleaded with people to wear masks and socially distance. We just had to order 5,000 additional body bags they just purchased for the state. That should be sobering. After more than 300,000 deaths nationwide, millions of doses of Pfizer's vaccine are now being distributed around the country with medical workers at the front of the line. More encouraging news came from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which found Moderna's vaccine candidate to be 94% effective. Emergency FDA authorization for the vaccine is expected by the end of the week. A new poll shows 71% of the U.S. population wants to get vaccinated right away. That's an 8% increase from September. Widespread vaccine acceptance is essential to combating the virus. Vaccine rollout also costs money. Congress is still working on multi-billion dollar COVID relief legislation, but they're not there yet. No matter how long uh, it takes, we'll be here until we get a COVID package. The country's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, recommended that President-elect Joe Biden, who is 78 years old, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris get vaccinated right away in the interests of national security. You want him fully protected as he enters into the presidency uh, in January. So that would be my strong recommendation. Biden said he'd take that advice. But when I do it, you'll have notice and we'll do it publicly. Much of the ongoing nationwide surge is attributed to virus exposure during travel and family gatherings over the Thanksgiving holiday last month. With Hanukkah underway and Christmas coming next week, doctors are begging Americans to stay home and stay safe. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.